this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg, and we welcome you to the opening game of the 1991 NBA Finals. It's the Chicago Bulls out of the East against the Los Angeles Lakers out of the West in what should be an exciting best of seven series. But really, Clark, the story here is Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan facing each other in these finals. Kevin, it really is the story. I mean, they've met only 12 times since Jordan joined Magic in the NBA back in 1984. Now it won't just be a one-on-one -on -one battle, but these two will be at the heart of everything. First for the Lakers, the question is, how do you stop Jordan from pouring in basket after basket? I'm not sure they'll find an answer to that question. Well, when it comes to Jordan, really, you can't look to stop him. You can only try to slow him down. But the other side of that equation, Clark, as you mentioned, is Magic Johnson. And he'll cause a lot of matchup problems for the Chicago defense. And it starts, Kevin, with his size. I mean, he's so tall and talented with the ball that he's a driving force of the offense. I mean, he runs the Laker offense. Chicago will probably end up putting a bigger guard on him and then he'd probably look to eat up the smaller guards in the post. We might actually get to see the Jordan Magic matchup because of that. But even if that isn't the case, you can expect them to try to one-up each other, not every trip down the floor, but throughout the game. Well, this is the makings of Clark, I think, a fantastic NBA final. I'm right with you there, partner. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Well, gentlemen, Michael Jordan has been trying to downplay the Magic versus Michael matchup, repeatedly saying it's the Bulls versus the Lakers, not just two people competing. But when he talked to the media this morning, he relented just a bit. And you could see that look in his eyes, and he knew this would be about the marquee matchup. Makes you think he's been sandbagging a little bit coming into this series, gentlemen. Thank you, Doris. And Clark, they can say it's the Lakers against the Bulls all they want, but really the world is watching Michael against Magic. Well, it's two of the best players of all time going at it. I know it's a little early to say that about Jordan, but he's shown it so far, and a title would certainly help cement that claim. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. We've got Divots, Perkins out there with Worthy, then it's Magic Johnson and Scott. Not that you would expect much different, but Magic Johnson was huge in that game six. 25 points, and he did an outstanding job of carrying the offense. He also had 11 boards and eight assists, too, Kevin. Now here's Jordan. Now Pippen. Hooked away. Jordan against Scott. Goes up, and good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. And he makes the free throw. Here's Paxson. Jordan against Scott. Blocked. Jordan hasn't been sharp coming out in this one. You wonder if he's a bit nervous playing in his first NBA Finals game. Poke loose. Clark, seeing Worthy out there, he's moving so much better than he was against Portland. Yeah, he really is, Kevin. I mean, he just wasn't himself with that injury. In a big game like that, you know if he's healthy, he's putting up more than eight points. 
Pippen. And count that bucket right there. He keeps with it, and now a free throw shot for him. And the Bulls making a change here. Armstrong's checked in. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. And back to Worthy. You could see him struggling with everything, only going 3 of 12. That's just not him. Not at all, Kevin, especially if you look at how efficient he's been from the floor throughout his career. But he does look better now and should be back to his old ways soon. And that spells trouble for Chicago. It does. He's had some problems finding the range here in this quarter. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Kevin, some serious questions about James Worthy's availability and his ankle heading into this game. When I spoke to him earlier, he said his ankle is improving. It doesn't look to be close to 100%, but hopefully they'll be able to treat it enough to where he can get through the game. They are better off with him, even if he's not 100%, guys. Thanks, Doris. And Worthy, such a big part, Clark, of this Laker offense. Boy, Kevin, losing him would hurt not only because he's a great finisher and fills the lanes and is a versatile defender as well, but he's a warrior. He's championship tested. So they'll miss him if he's not able to go at full strength. Clark, what are some of the initial strategies we can expect from these two teams? You know, I think they'll want to start off the same way, Kev. Get the ball low into the post to get their big fellas on a roll early. And then if they can do that, it sets them up in their half-court game. Now here's Jordan. From 18 feet away. Myron Scott pulls it in. The Lakers trail. Johnson outside. Here's Debutz. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. The first one falls. Will Purdue's checked in for Bill Cartwright. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Something to watch for in this game. Magic Johnson might look to get the ball into the center. Buddy Divac's to spur a quick, fast break. And these aren't the Showtime Lakers anymore, Kevin. They'll slow it up on you and go half court when they need to. But when the opportunity to get a quick three on two or two on one is there, they'll make that happen too. Connected on the shot, and he was fouled. A chance here for a three point play. The Lakers making a switch here. Jones has checked in. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Here's Johnson. 140 left in the first. Pass to Worthy, guarded by Pippen. Fades back. Worthy with the bucket. Worthy's got his first two points. Chicago leading. Outside Pippen. Here is Purdue. 
Here's Grant, and he lays that one up and in. You have to block this guy out, Kevin. He's just too active on the boards to be left alone. They trail by three. Looking at Perkins here, he really stepped up big in that game six against the Blazers. You know what? The Lakers might not be here now if he didn't have that big game. 26 points, 10 of 14 shooting. He was a force in the middle. Armstrong against Scott. Grant outside. Worthy against Pippen. Armstrong. Just five on the clock. Grant, right side. Can't get it to go. And it's the Lakers taking it the other way. You know, Clark, thinking more about Perkins with Worthy hurting, they needed him to be a big factor. Well, you figure they'd need somebody to pick up the slack, and it did happen that way. The bench helped out too, but you got to give credit to Perkins for putting his stamp on that game. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. Jordan pulls, but a shot by Jordan, no good. And so the end of one sees some big buckets. Bulls lead by one. They've dominated the glass early on, and that's always a good sign. Rebounding is an effort stat, and they've shown tremendous effort so far. It's more NBA coming your way.